What up, what guys? Up, guys? <laughs> today is Adventure Day, day two. And if you guys are just tuning in today, it's because uh, this week is supposed to be us in Yosemite. We have a four day vacation because it's our first vacation, our first trip, and our first mental break from what is the crazy ass year of 2020. Um, but then recently we saw this article that says Yosemite has 170 like cases and we're like, oh, uh, never mind, we're not going there, we're trying to stay safe. So we're having like our own staycation and just wandering around the parts of LA. And yesterday went to go see the tide pools, so go check out that vlog if you haven't seen that yet. And today is Adventure Day Day 2. And Ma Bear bought this really cool book. Yeah, I got this last year. Um, just because I feel like LA has so much to offer. It's so diverse, it's so vast, and huge. That I'm like, I've grown up in LA my whole life. And I don't know, like this this book, if you show them, it's 111 places in Los Angeles. Um, and honestly, looking through all of the destinations, I've only been to like a handful. So I'm like, we gotta do this now. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. So even the stuff that we uh, reference on JK News sometimes, like We Spot, which is like the Korean spot where you get naked, that's in here too. So there's 111 places in LA that are must go to and it really makes LA LA and they go from ethnic things to outdoor adventure things to food tryout spots and we're like hey if we're gonna be in LA we might as well check these things out so today is adventure day day two but day one of going on these 111 places in LA and if you guys like it who knows maybe we'll go to actually go to all 111 of them and uh, one of them that I think we're going on today that I'm really excited about is uh, an authentic gelato place and they call it a uh, uh, what is it called authentic taste of Italy are we going to that place today yeah that's the first place we're going to Ooh, the first place yeah. damn Tiger we're about to get some eye cream we'll get eye cream for breakfast oh, he already had breakfast all right I don't care What's kind of cool about this adventure is while we're going there, we get to see different parts of the city. And that's kind of cool too. And you know what they say, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. And it's literally, it is about the journey. Look at all these cool houses and mountain ranges. I think we're driving through Pasadena or Altadena? Altadena. Altadena. Altadena, and all of it. Oh, Altadena. Altadena. We're stupid. Yeah, we never really drive through Altadena. This is super cool. It's such a um, small town feel with like these really cuny houses with each lush, one so different too. Lush like trees. No, oh, they're not lush, but there's a there's lot. Lots of trees. Lush for California. Lush for dry California. Dry as California. Oh, I know where we're at. This is where we go to our hike. We turn here. Oh yeah, Crescent. we used to go to Eaton Canyon. That's yeah. true. Yeah, that's why we go up there. Oh. But we never went down this street because we always turn there, and we didn't have anywhere. We turn there or turn here? Turn there. Taka always says he's over there. He always puts an N in it. I don't know why he goes turn there. So I always mess with him. I go turn there or turn here. So mean. No, oh, I love messing with them. Oh, so mean. Turn there or turn there. Turn there. No. All right, so we just got here early, and damn it, I had it on my Yelp, but Yelp confirms that it's a legit place. <laughs> what? No, Why I mean they, like. What do you mean? I mean like. I mean, this Why one would you put have, it in a book? If well, it's this not doesn't legit. have reviews, but this one does. Look at that. So if you guys are a review type of person, four stars, five hundred seventy-one reviews, and let me read you the description about this place so you guys know what we're about to eat. So started by this guy named Roman born Leo Balgarini calls himself a terrible businessman. His gelato is relatively expensive. He offers only a dozen carefully curated flavors at a time. Use of preservatives is out of the question, but what might be bad for the bottom line is transcendent for the palate. Lucky is he who stumbles upon Balgarini's nondescript storefront. You don't need a discriminating palate that sends deep in your soul that a bite of this frozen delicacy is like eating a mouthful of wonder. Why? Because Balgarini cares deeply enough to use real ingredients of the highest quality 
he'll take lots of time to create his sorbets and gelato. Macerated plum peels are cured for five to six days before being transformed into intensely flavored sorbet that tastes like plum times 10. In the summer, there might be four varieties of peach available, each one made with a different type of fruit, but they're all peaches. For the pistachio <laughs> gelato, only Sicilian nuts are used. Bulgarini mashes them into a thick, mossy, green-colored butter, and that is what you're consuming with every lick of the dense, rich, sweet chilled confection. His macadamia nut gelato, forget about it. He travels to Hawaii once a year and visits a farmer who dries his nuts with a standard room fan. Bulgarini says it's the only way to ensure that no mold grows on his nuts. When he and his wife when he and his wife were in Europe for two years learning how to make pastries, they visited Sicily like a lot of us have. They're Bulgarini. Found I've never the, been in Sicily. Me neither. Found that the gelato <laughs> at all the shops tasted the same. Can you believe that? All the gelato shops taste the same over there. And what he found out was they're preserved with citric acid. So everyone's getting a pre-made thing. So when, so influenced by his restaurant owning uncle, he crafted three delicious gelatos by hand. For Bulgarini, there's no other option but to take the hard way out. The location of this hidden treasure it is hidden because it's all the way over there. In a seemingly deserted strip mall, it's very deserted around here. In a non-touristy area of the city, you're right, no one wants to come here. Makes the discovery of it that much more miraculous. I know, why would he do it here? There's literally freaking... There's nothing. It's right where those white umbrellas are. Yeah. And there's like nothing here. Like, and it's just, at all. It's like a barren a, part of the city. It is. But that's how you know. That's how you know it's good. Because on Yelp, we got 571 reviews, 4 stars. Yeah. And they don't use the citric acid preservative, like he says, and it's seasonal, so it's always, in the summer, he's gonna have four flavors of peaches, just because peaches are in season, so what flavor are you gonna try? I'm gonna look first. Yeah, I'm gonna look first, and I really hope that um, at least this helps put more uh, eyeballs on his business, because I love when people are passionate about what they do, and it sounds like he's really passionate about what he does. So those are the types of restaurants and establishments and businesses that I do wanna support. So if you guys are interested, definitely check them out. Um, yeah. Guess what? It's 11.02. They're open. They open at 11. Two minutes. Look at how cute. Look at how cute this little guy's outfit is. Well, I wasn't supposed to mention he took. <laughs> his little shirt stuck there. Hey, in his little red shirt. You big cutie. <laughs> you cutie guy. It's because I put on his shorts after the shirt and I yeah. just pulled it up and it got stuck. Come here, dude. Come here, dude. This big old truck coming. All right, let's go. Let's go get some yummy gelato ice cream. You know how you say ice cream in Chinese? Bing chi ding. Good job. You say to mama bing chi ding. What? Bing chi ding. Bing chi ding. Good job. You will say it in Spanish. Do you know how to say it in Spanish? Spanish? Galata. <laughs> Nieve. Huh? Nieve. 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 With the N? Yeah. Okay. Nieve. Hey, hey, it's a pizza. All right, today's gelatos. We got dark chocolate, chocolate orange, chocolate salt, stracciliati, lemon cream, yogurt with olive oil, mascarpone. Which one are you gonna get? Um. Uh, what's stracciatella? Stracciatella. Uh, it tastes like uh, raviolis. Liar. <laughs> I'm just I don't know. Yogurt with olive oil is interesting. It What's is, huh? Bone? Um, I don't know, but it's like a. I might want to get macadamia nuts. It's a flavor. Since now I know he air dries. Oh, ones. okay, get that one. And ah, oh, damn, pistachio is taken. What about lemon cream? Is that too sour for you? I'll ask them what they recommend. I always love doing that too. Yeah, that's good. I kind of want food. Do we share two of them? Their food. Yeah, food too. Oh I, yeah. I'm done a share. Yeah. straight up pasta. What? I don't want to get too full. But yeah, I'm done a share. Cheese. Oh, I love that pasta. Oh, look at all this freshly made gelato. They have it locked, buddy. See, if the door is locked, please call. I'm trying to be safe. Well, we have to please order, order from, outside. from outside. Okay. Oh, they open today at 11:30. They do? That's what it says on the paper. Oh, Tuesday, 11.30. Oh, so we still got 30 minutes. Okay. What do you want to do? You want to just hang out and chill? <laughs> or you watch them dance? <laughs> you crazy. Are you dancing? <laughs> this guy's nuts. 
Okay. Oh, this will hit me in the nuts. Okay, okay. Oh. Don't shit Papa like that. Tell Papa sorry. Tell him sorry. Oh. Excuse me. Tell Papa sorry. No, look Thank at Papa you. and tell him. Don't tell me. Thank you. Why does he always hit you? Yeah, I don't know. He just comes out of nowhere. He loves hitting me. Okay, ready? Whoa! Jump higher, jump higher, jump higher, Papa catch you, jump higher. Whoa! Gotta yeah, jump higher. Nay, 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 Then you climb up. I wanna go down. No. Oh, you have to climb up the ride back by yourself. I wanna go down. I don't know what's going on anymore. So I'll tell you what's going on. So what he's doing, what he's saying is, after he jumps, he wants me to put him back at the top. Oh. I'm telling him that's not how roller coasters work. You have to get back in line, get on the ride. It doesn't go down, and then the roller coaster take you back to the top. It doesn't work like that. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm saying that. No, no, I'm saying that. You gotta go back up. The roller coaster doesn't go back Just help him, Jesus. I don't know what kind of amusement park you're trying to run. The VIP one. You guys, so we got the gelato. This one is plum. Look at the colors on that. I can't wait to try it. Mama. Yes? You mad at me? Uh, and we got pistachio. So we'll see what that one looks like coming out. But first, Taiko wants to try this. That's good. Excuse me. We're going to share. Here, try it. Do you like it? My turn. Whoa. This is delicious. This tastes really fresh. Ooh, this is really good, you guys. Mmm. Wow. That is delicious. Wow. Wow. Oh, he's coming back out. Papa nosy. That's really good, huh, dude? Ding. I could just taste all the ingredients. It doesn't taste um like too sweet. It tastes very organic, very fresh. Oh, it tastes like summer it's so refreshing you guys i'm like the worst food describer ever um so we'll wait till papa gets here but it's really really good it's really good so this is the other flavor that is recommended in the book we got pistachio and plum i'm ready hold on hold on we gotta do it together <laughs> That's very pistachio. -y. Okay, let me taste. Let me put me in the sun. Yeah, I want to see the color. Ooh, oh, that nice. is that mossy you see, green. You should see the red oh. in that. Let me see. In that one, it's really good. Try that. I tried to describe it, but I couldn't. Give me, give me. It was both just so. Them, both of them really kill it in the aftertaste. Cause like they're both very refreshing. Yeah, cause we were eating it. Um, because it's cold, the flavors are muted, but the aftertaste when you breathe it through your nose, this is super nutty, okay, this I wanna, is super plummy. I wanna try it. Try it, it's so good. It's really good. So watch, eat mm. it, and then now breathe through your nose. Whoa, this is my favorite. You taste the nuttiness after. Wow. It's really good. I don't like anything pistachio. It's very pistachio-y. It's very nutty, I go with a thing. So, one out of the 111 wow. is a success so far. Wow. And I don't know if this adds to the authenticity mm -hmm. of being Italian, but when I was signing the card, all the instructions on the card uh, system was all in Italian. They said grazie and all that. And I'm like, damn, I don't They're know if you're trying to, much. I don't They're know if you're, much. it is, are they? I'm like, it's, it's in America, speak English. No, no, I like it. Oh, okay. Is it yummy? This guy can't tell the difference. <laughs> this is really good gelato. He's like, this whatever. Is $7 gelato, right? He's like, this tastes just as good. Yeah, it's 14 bucks for two cups. It's freaking good, though. He's like, I don't care. I like ice cream truck. That's ice my cream. favorite one. Having had a couple more bites of this pistachio one, I have to say it's freaking insane. So I just looked up the difference between ice cream and gelato. Um, 
ice cream, since they use more egg yolk and more heavy cream, it's fattier. And since it's not slow churned, as it's a little bit fluffier, so it's fattier and fluffier. Gelato, since it's slow churned and it's more milk, less eggs, less fat, it's denser. But because there's less fat, the actual ingredients show more. So it straight up tastes like a giant pistachio in your mouth, and it's so good. And that's the difference between uh, gelato and ice cream. So uh, just a quick way to remember: fatty and fluffy, ice cream, uh, dense and less fatty <laughs> gelato. It's so good. After eating the yummy gelato, that actually opened up our appetite. So we got kind of hungry and we're like, hey, since we're never in this area, why don't we look up some Italian food to go Is with an Italian you? theme. And we found this cool little place it's called Pinocchio's Italian Restaurant. And we have a bunch of outdoor seating, which is really cool. So all the tables are six feet apart, super safe. And taika has been screaming pizza, pizza, pizza in the car. So we're gonna get pizza. Can you share your share? You share, you share. You're gonna have your own pizza? No, don't. No share? So we got all kinds of cool stuff. There's a pizza. There's entrees, pasta. The mother gets to have her pasta. Do you know what pasta you wanna get? No, stop, 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 stop. No, no, no. No, you no, no, no. Stop it. You stop it. I think I'm gonna get the pesto shrimp linguine. Ooh, sounds good. Sun dried tomatoes are always oh, good. Oh, oh yeah. Those little bursts of flavor. Oh, yeah. Oh, hot. look how happy yeah, this guy is with this pizza. Ooh, it's hot. You have to wait, okay? It's, Ooh, a it's really hot. hot pizza. Ooh. I got my fettuccine hot. Alfredo's. Yeah. And then my bear got her. Pesto, shrimp, linguine. Ooh, it's hot, hot, this hot, garlic hot. bread looks freaking bomb. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Is it really that hot? Yeah. Damn. Oh, 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 oh. You're gonna have to wait a little bit, monkey dude. He doesn't care. Look at this cool scenery. We are headed to, what is it called? Bridge to Nowhere. Um, never been there, only heard about it. It's like kind of in our backyard, like it's close to where we live. So we figured, why not? Look how beautiful it is. Papa's doing a good job of like taking these turns really softly. It's like it gets motion sickness back there when we take them too hard. But lucky for him, take us out. But we're almost there. Ten more minutes. All right, so we're here at the Bridge to Nowhere, which is right in front of us. And we're gonna step out there just a little bit. And this is the description of it. Deep in the Angeles National Forest of Azusa, a concrete bridge gracefully arches over the San, Ga San Gabriel River. San Gabriel. Yet, San Gabriel. Yet no road leads to it. The so-called Bridge to Nowhere tells a classic Los Angeles story of good intention destroyed by forces, forces of nature. Originally conceived as a WPA project under the FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt administration, the construction of a road connecting San Gabriel to the small town of Wrightwood, which we all snowboard all the time, provided a much needed work so hard to come by in the 1930s and promised a scenic drive that continued to the desert. Work crews laid the East Fork Road to the River Chasm and the bridge was built in 1936 to connect the divide. Built in March of 1938, before ever opening to vehicles, two successive storms hit Los Angeles, dropping a year's worth of rain in just two days. Flood water surge in the East Fork Road was destroyed. The project was abandoned. Only the bridge and ghost-like patches of asphalt subsumed by nature remain. Despite its lack of utility, the bridge has become a popular scenic hiking destination with river pools that make for refreshing plunges. As you can see, all the wet Mexicans that are getting out of the water. Um, where was I? What? Did you see all the Mexicans with all the wet hair getting out of the water? They're plunging. Why are you talking all this shit? No, they're all plunging. Why are you talking crap? No, no, they're... they're... Sorry. It's a bad word, exactly. Tell your mama. Tell your, tell your mama. Can you make jokes? I thought you said you were a comedian. Hey, hey I'm, not, I'm just telling the truth. To get to the trailhead from Azusa... We don't know if they're Mexicans, by the way. To get to the trailhead... I'm not gonna put the... I'm not gonna put them camera. Say sorry. So I'm sorry. Say sorry. I'm sorry. You're so beautiful, Gio. I'm... Apalajente, you're muy bonito. Hurry up. Okay. 
Dude. No, we're not doing okay, it. Okay, fine. I'm sorry. Very beautiful. The most beautiful. Don't hurry up. <laughs> Don't hurry up. Okay, I'm almost done. Okay, here. To get to the trailhead from Azusa, take San Gabriel Canyon North. After about 11 miles, turn right on East Fork Road. And I think we took us a long time because we took the long way. I don't know why. I wonder why. Hmm. No, it's because I think driving, they mapped it wrong. Huh? No, no, no. I should have they let a Mexican drive. At the hairpin end of the East Fork Road, turn left on Camp Bonita Road. The trailhead and small parking lot rest at the end of the six mile road. Plan on six hours to hike the 10 mile round trip. Whoa. The trail is not well marked, so follow the river and check in with other hikers. The trail crosses oh the God. the trail crosses the river six times, and hikers often forge the waters. But keep in mind that heavy rains can make the river crossing dangerous, if not fatal. Use discretion and common fatal, of course. Use discretion and common sense. It's no crown to turn back and save this adventure for another day. You're on your own. However, you choose to partake in the weekend bungee jumping provided for a price by a private company, Bungee America. That's what it looks like from the bottom. Um, yeah, this isn't even the bridge at all, then. I mean, oh, it looks way different. Yeah, what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> We're not even at the right bridge. So yeah, because have to keep your freaking going. Chinese eyes don't know how to look. So do I need to go over there? Yeah. So I just gotta keep driving. Well, I think we gotta hike now. Let me see. Are we even there? What does it say? Oh no, we gotta be over you here. You are such an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> we still got this. <laughs> This is really funny. That's awesome. I love that you're talking smack about oh, Mr. Mexicans. I mean, give me You know what? Get out. No, I'm no, gonna drive. No. I'm gonna drive. No, I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get us there. You're not. I'm you already got us, us lost. I'm gonna get us there. I know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get us there. I'm gonna Adios get us there. Mio. I just like that. It's funny that I'm like the tour guide. I'm like, look in front of you, the pyramid. <laughs> I'm like, that's the fake pyramid. That's and the you real. have and you have a picture too to show us, and it's not even the same one. Hey. The struggle is real, like her shirt said. Doesn't this look like... Not at all. The other one's all the brown. bridge to nowhere? No, it's a bridge to somewhere. There's a road. Thank you. Thank you, Taika. You saw the bridge, and the bridge is brown. Thank you, Taika. Uh, I like going... Ex I got like go... I okay, so I already like going in on Bart. When he talks crap... Why do you like going in on me? I'm so innocent. No, when he talks crap, and then he messes up... Oh, man. <laughs> Double down, baby. <laughs> but I'm so innocent. Why would you like to go in on me? <laughs> yeah, what is it? A bunch of water. It's a bunch of water. Let me see. Oh yeah. There's a creek down there. Oh you can little splash zone right there. That's pretty cool too. Are you ready? So I've been talking to some of the people around here. They said it's a It was just one person you talked to. Fine. But it's a quite a hike. <laughs> it's quite a hike, so we may not even be able to get there with this little monkey dude, but we can go as far as we can and see if we can see it around the bend or something. Okay. Ready? Let's yeah. go. Wow, there's a lot of water down there. Look at that. That's awesome. I wish I could go down and go swimming. It's pretty hot. Alright, let's start on a little journey to find the bridge to nowhere. So there's a bend that goes all the way over there. And word on the street. It's a good... What did I read? Six miles? I don't know. I was too busy performing and not actually reading the content. Six miles. Six, six, six miles. This six mile hike? Yeah, I can do both. Do both what? Perform and go with the content. Alright, let's see. Let's see you read the next stop that we do then. Let's see if you do it. Do you want Shakespearean style? Do you want... Whichever you want? style are you going to do that you could actually read something. Fine. <laughs> There's no reason to cry here. Oh, look at that. You see that big lizard in there? Do you guys see that guy? Saw it? See that big lizard? You see it? I see a big lizard. It's right there. You see it moving? Yeah. Look, look. No, it's not moving. It's right there. Look. It's right there. You see it? Right there. Look, look. You saw it move? Yeah. That's cool. Bye, big lizard. Come on. All right, so we're just gonna go right around this bend. I feel like that's why those girls turned around too. Oh, they probably saw it and they're like, hell nah. So like our busted freaking tour guide told us that he wasn't even paying attention. It's six miles in. Yeah. And it sounds really cool. It sounds really cool, but it's really hot today. And Taika gets uh, uh, N O S E B L E E D S. We don't want to freak him out. Yeah, because then he'll think he'll start like getting in his own head, thinking he's gonna get one. And then he might actually get one. So we're gonna go around the bend and see, see what's up. Going. But then I'll show also show you guys something that's really cool that we. We saw that we'll definitely check out some other time. Right, so this is a bend and it literally goes nowhere. 
and then I guess it goes probably over there. There's a cool little house over there. What is that? A little, little structure. But oh, I still see the the creek though, which is good. So yeah, that's about it. What do you want to do, Mama? Okay, we'll go home and go swim. We'll come back some other time and make it to the bridge to nowhere. Oh yeah, there's more water there. All right, so if you guys ever come to the Zusa Mountains to go to the bridge to nowhere, um, on the way there, I would just give yourself some extra time because there's this really cool little easy trail right here. It goes down there, and then there's all that water over here. You guys see that? So you can, like, there's a little raft, and this water goes all the way up there. So if you guys just want to splash around, go ahead. That'd be really cool, and it's really close to the parking lot, which is just right there. Get him, Tyga, get him. Why you run too fast? Slow down. Tell, tell Papa to slow down. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> That's so dumb. Did you Papa? Go jump in. Jump in, Taika, get him. Jump in. Oh, no. Clean up this mess? Yeah. Oh, God, I gotta clean up this mess, guys. <laughs> gotta clean this mess up. He gets so angry. Not again. He's gonna fall backwards into the pool. I hope not. Oh, look, he, he just positioned himself. <laughs> You shot Papa! Wow, wow, look at that face, look at that face. Look out, down hey, wait, wait, friendly fire, dude. You got the camera. Oh! <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? <laughs> Going straight through the gun at <laughs> So Papa is off right now getting some ingredients for dinner tonight. And don't mind us, because we want to be superheroes. They could take his cape. And I got my cape on too. Let's go! Fly! Whoosh. And yeah, we can't go outside because there's mosquitoes. Go! Whoosh. You're gonna jump? Yeah. Why is that the couch? Okay, go. You go first. Yeah. Very cool. My turn. My turn? Okay. Oh, what? Okay. No, that side. no, what are you doing? No, I already did both sides. Make up your mind, little dodo brain. Go for it. Wait, that's gonna break. You can't climb your house. No, that's gonna break. You can't climb your house. Nope. Go ahead. Ladder. I want the ladder, please. Yes. The ladder. Do we have a superhero? I'll make you guys and myself dizzy. I'm An epic. Shaky. You already know what time it is. <laughs> it's taco yummy time. Yep, as soon as you get the scissors out, that's it. Uh, so we are having some shabu shabs tonight. Papa picked up some Chinese what? Chinese Spinach. broccoli. Broccoli? Yeah. Okay, and then some enoki mushroom. We got cabbage, 
And then Papa got fancy tonight and he's gonna have some udon noodles. Block of udon. Baby. This is the ponzu we absolutely love. Well, Bart loves it more than I do. It's but my it's still brand. really, really bomb. This is Joe's favorite brand too. And he's what does Japanese. that mean? He's okay, Japanese, so, so now you're gonna pull the, you're gonna pull the Japanese card on me. I'm gonna pull my, my friend card. Who has a Japanese card? I don't have the card. My friend, I have a friend card, and that friend has a Japanese. Card. All right. Well, I don't have a Japanese ambassador, so I guess you win. Fine. Okay. So yeah. Brown sugar boba ice cream. Not a, not only is it my favorite, but it's also someone else's favorite here. Taika, you want ice cream? Grab this one, I already opened this one for you. Oh my. It's a boba, it's a banana. Banana? This is not banana, it's boba. Banana. Banana. Yummy, huh? It's banana. It's not vanilla, it's boba. Boba. Yeah. Yummy, huh? Banana. Banana. So we're gonna end our day with some yummy. Ice cream while mama relaxes, watch some analyze this or analyze that. It's a super funny movie with Robert De Niro and Billy Crystal. <laughs> this guy's a happy camper. <laughs> and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Say goodnight, mama. Good night, mama. Say goodnight, Taika. Good night, Taika. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so smart.